Welcome back to the channel guys. Uh, today we're going to be cooking a lamb curry. Uh, got the old man helping me and giving me some pointers on the side. Uh, it's a rainy day out there. So what I have is a kilo of diced lamb. Uh, can't wait for that. I'm going to put some potatoes in there later. Um, I'm going to dice that onion really finely. Uh, Saute that off. Then add uh, some ginger and some garlic paste. I'm going to cook that out. And then I'm gonna add all my herbs. So I've got uh, chili powder. We're gonna make this real hot. Three really hot chilies that I got from a customer. These are sensational. These will blow your head off. Uh, coconut milk, we'll add that at the end. Uh, salt, cinnamon, turmeric, garlic masala, and some cumin powder. So we're gonna get to cooking. It's called garman masala. Oh, garlic masala. So first of all, we add some olive oil into our meat. Good tablespoon there. Add the pepper. Good few cracks of that pepper. Look at that. Now we're gonna add some salt. Make sure you always season your meat before you cook. Uh, that's a kilo of meat, so it will take a nice bit of salt now. So um, I'm gonna get to cut the onion up. I'm gonna cut there and I'll get back to uh, show you the curry. All right, so we just diced up finally the three chilies and the onions. Just going in with a little bit of olive oil. Got the old boy helping me. He's a curry uh, legend over here. So he's gonna start frying this off now. Get those um, spices activated in the chilies, eh? Yep, always get some good chili in there. They're gonna be hot, mate. I've got that on a low to medium heat, so. Oh, that flavor coming out straight away. Straight away from the back of the throat. Look at that. We're going to add some ginger and garlic paste now. Yep. So, all right, so we didn't have any ginger, so I just added some garlic there. And now we're going to get some color on this lamb, aren't we, Dad? Yep. Color on the lamb. Let's get some With all nice the spices in there. And get what will happen yep. is your chili will really marinate this meat. Dad's the king of curries. So because it's like cooking this, um, you only really just want to get some colour on your meat yep. and then turn it off. So with all those spices, I think we're going to add a teaspoon, Dad said. So we've got curry powder, turmeric powder, garlic masala, cumin powder and some ground cinnamon. So I'm excited for this and I'm going to cut these potatoes up and peel them uh, when we uh, get some colour on that. So. Looking good. All right, so we just put a teaspoon of all those spices that we just said now, and we're gonna brown it off with the meat so the um, spices start activating or something. Is that right? Yep. Sink into the sure, meat or something? And make sure it's uh, nicely crushed. Usually we use whole cloves, but as he's a stingy fella and he doesn't want to go buy spices. Yeah, star anise as well is a good thing. To all right, on. let's see it on the meat, mate. So just spread it out like that. Get the meat nice and marinated. Starting to smell good already. Mm, it smells all good. Of course, once you put the coconut milk in here, once we're putting it in the um, all day cooker. Yeah, I'm going to slowly cook this. I'm thinking about an hour and a half. Yeah. I want it soft, eh? Low to medium heat with the lid on, because we like. Heaps of liquid in our curry. So Dad suggested don't take the skins off. There's a bit of flavour in there, so don't worry about it too much. Um, the whole house is smelling so good at the moment. All those spices are doing its thing. Uh, it's coming to just fantastic. Look, there was a little bit of liquid that came off that lamb and onions, all those spices. Haven't added any water at the moment. If the potatoes are not got any um, seasoning on them, they just go in there dry and they just take up all of the seasoning that's in the in the marinated meat. 
So make sure you always do seasoning in your spuds before you put them in your... My shit! That's chili powder! She's going to be fiery! Oh, that'll mean, that'll mean, mate, that'll mean. Here you go. Here that spoon. Oh, it actually smells really good. I cut one of the chilies and just touch under my eye and the whole thing's burning. So, might see a few trips to the toilet tomorrow. We'll see what happens. All right, let's mix these potatoes around, eh? Mix them in. Thank you, sir. Get it all mixed in there. The buds into that beautiful marinade so they can... Oh, smells good. Now I've turned it down to a low, low heat. Look at that. The second one. So we're going to slowly braise this now so it's tender as. You're going to need more carrot, more coconut milk than what you've got. That's all right. I'll add a bit of water and coconut milk, mate. I'll be fine. All right. Now I'm going to add a little bit of water but in the same spice things and then we're going to add some coconut milk. So... Not much at all, just a little, oh, I'd say that'd be 200 mils. It's got all that flavour in that um, paste or that spices we just made. So it's straight in there like that. And then we're going to get our coconut milk. Going to crack the lid. Probably give it a good shake I'm first. Shake your cake. And then um, straight in there with this coconut milk. Oh, look at that. That's going to make the best sauce. And because we're going to let it simmer, I'll just get my thing to show you. Because we're going to let it simmer, if I had any bay leaves or anything like that, I probably would put it in, or yeah. star anise or leaves. something. Curry leaves. Mm. If you've got something like that, yeah, go out. Don't be lazy like Adzi. Adzi's very lazy. So we're going to just leave that. We're going to put everything like submerged in the liquid. And we're going to leave our lid on. We're going to let it slowly braise on the second one for about an hour, hour and a half. Stay tuned! <laughs> all right, that's all done, man. A couple of nice bubbles. This is about half an hour into it now, so it's all coming together. The house smells fantastic. Look at that. It's beautiful. And I've made, oh, I just got some naan bread. Uh, so I melted some butter, garlic, uh, thyme, and coriander uh, leaves in there. And we just frying these off in there. Look at the starting to bubble. So we should have some real good color on this. I cannot wait. Oh, look at that. Garlic's melted. We're going to dip that in. Curry, I'm just about to eat up. Um, I left it for probably two hours on a real low heat. I kept turning it on, turning it off. And I know this is going to fall apart. And we got some uh, beautiful rice there. So let's... And here is the final product. Now, how good does this look? Have a look at the lamb. I know you're excited. Just wait. Dave's doing his review. So it's just... The meat's just falling apart. We're going to go in and see how spicy this is now. A little bit nervous. Wish me luck. All right, so the review didn't work out uh, too good. The audio uh, wasn't working, but the curry was magnificent. Uh, shout out to Dad for helping me uh, with that curry. Uh, beautiful on the rainy day. Um, what am I going to cook next, guys? Come on, come on, come on. Subscribe to Cooking with a D. Or you can just sit there.